Hello there, and welcome back to Resident Evil. When we left off, we just defeated you all. Found a battery, found other stuff. Not this. This was found episodes ago. <laughs> but we're heading towards the gardens now, and I think that's tools we'll need. Um, and the quickest way to get there is probably the painting in the main hall. And the safest way to get there is probably this way. So we'll go. With faith that it stays safe. I feel like that guy's going to know where I am eventually. Um, though, I'm not certain about that. But I'm full of hope. Right, so this should be the safe way. Right, okay. Out this hallway? And that leads us to the... Um, balcony above the dining room, I believe. Yes. We are safe at the moment. And through these doors, and then we should be able to go down and go through the painting at the back. And then go through our little nifty shortcuts, and that'll lead us to where we need to be. Um, I'm going to have to remember, whether I like it or not, to get the emblem back out the door when we come back through. Because um, I think we need that for the back in this main hall. Granted, I'm not 100% about that. Because I haven't tried to put them in there. But I think that's where they go. And it does make sense, considering we've got two of them. One of them without a frame, though. And I don't know where that is. I can hear the crows already. Still not angry, which is good. They can just chill there, as far as I'm concerned. As long as they're not attacking me, I won't have to attack them in return. Alright, so we should be able to put this emblem in, and that'll free up an inventory space straight away. Um, and we should be good. Though we have no healing with us. Then again, Wesker did leave a bunch of first aid sprays here, so maybe we could take one of them. With the just in cases. Alright, so put that back in here. There's no point in us removing this, really. Not yet, anyway. Alright, hopefully there's no more waffles out here as well, because we did kill a bunch of them on the way through. And I haven't brought my trusty handgun, either. Right, we'll pick up one of these. We've already used the first aid spray, so we're screwed for that on the objective front anyway. And also, it probably won't like my saves and my runtime anyway, but still. We're playing this for the game. And I'm happy with that. Nothing wrong with enjoying what you're doing for once. Um, right, so there's the lift. So we need to come up this way, I think, and then use the crank. After we've inserted the battery, I'm pretty sure. I mean, it's the only logical way to look at it, isn't it? Because obviously the water's been blocked off, so it's going to be running. And then the lift is the only way up and down after this has been closed off, so... That's my thinking, anyway. Alright, so we're gonna have snakes, probably. Yeah, immediately. Please don't bite me. I'm not in the mood, and I've also got no anti-poison with me, so... If you could back off. Thank you. Okay. It's funny that this lift works and the other one doesn't, even though the power's out. Let's have a battery elsewhere. I was saying that was free heals here anyway for... I see, so the water's running we can't get through there. What does it say about it? A raging waterfall. It looks like there's something beyond it. We did see that earlier, I think. Right, let's place the battery in. Right. Wonderful. This should work now. It does. Like magic. Another lift with nobody on it. Creepy. Oh no, there I am. In, like magic. Right, so now we should be able to go and use the crank. Like clockwork. Open says me. No, oh, I thank you. Why thank you. Look, ma, no hands. Right, so we can use the crank again now. Hopefully, the last time we need the crank. Okay. So the water's back up. We got no nifty cutscene for that one. Sound of the waterfall, it must have stopped. Interesting. Just like I thought would be the case. Right. Open, please. Slowing me down. <laughs> Hopefully nothing's appeared now we've done that though. It's gotten very quiet. Right, okay, down here. And then we can go into where the water was. 
which I'm not actually looking forward to, really. Because it's unknown, we don't know the enemy placements in here. And it's dark. And I just don't like it. Right, I've got a rusty ladder, it's just never a good sign. Okay. It'd be funny if one of the cutscenes he just slept and bashed his chin or something like that. Okay, there's a poison herb there. I was expecting that to be locked, I wasn't gonna lie. Alright, what do we have? It's like a mine shaft. Hello? Why is the doors everywhere? Looks like a bowl there, what the hell? Alright, let's check it out. I feel like we shouldn't have gone through this way straight away. Hmm. There's a clip there. We don't need that just yet, but if we can get that before we leave. There's a herb. Several holes. So many doors, though. We could do the little nifty map, that would be great. Leo? Enrico, don't come any closer, Chris. What happened? Double crosser. Hmm? Enrico, wait. <laughs> Enrico! <sighs> Who's that shoe? Um, well, uh... Enrico! Double crosser? What did he mean by this? And whose shoe was that? He's a crank. I'm not fond of the amount of cranks you're making me carry here. Killed him with just one shot? Who could it be? He definitely wasn't a zombie. Wait, he's holding something. A crank. Another one. And let me guess, no place for me to store anything. Fantastic. Okay, so I'm hoping there's nothing else down here. Hello. Ow. Right, okay, I'm stepping back. And you're getting done in. It must have been the hunter that shot him. It must have been. I'm glad I brought the shotgun now, I'm not gonna lie. A fantastic choice. My team with the pistol would not have been fun. Let me guess, hunter's gonna be everywhere now. Maybe not. Actually, there's a clip there. We need to keep track of that. A huge gaping hole. I wonder what it's dug for. And then there's there's something here as well. Does it say anything about this? Oh, it looks like somewhere I can go, go to be honest. The elevator's power source. The round lid, open it. Hex that. We take the shaft. Eh, not just yet. Give me a second. Let me figure out where it goes, and then maybe we will take it. I wonder if that's the elevator. Right, we'll go and check out the rest of it first. Because there's a lot of this bit that we haven't seen just yet. Um, you know what, I'm gonna... I can hear movement there, that was frightening. Uh, I'm gonna take the shaft. <laughs> just because I don't know what it's for. And to save myself running back and forth, maybe we should just grab it. I don't like the fact that I had to bring two cranks in here with me. That's unfortunate. It means I can't pick up anything else now I've got that. I don't really feel like I have a choice. Hey, you, mister. 
Yeah. Good morning, Chris. Well, defense weapon certainly came in handy. I am on caution. So right now we do have the option. What was that way? Hmm. We do have the option of using the first aid spray. I feel like that'd be stupid to use it now, though. Right, a large boulder blocks the way. There are bloodstains beneath the boulder. Okay. I feel like that boulder crushed somebody. Right, okay. It's a good thing I remembered that I could actually stack up items there. Right, so there's a blue. I don't like this cave very much. Is that an item box? Very nice. But now we have to remember which crank's which. I'm hoping I don't need both of them. I'm gonna chuck a first aid spray up here and I'm gonna use a green herb. So we're on fine. Right, we'll keep them. I think it might be in our best interest to go and collect that clip and that green herb from over here. We probably have to come back through here anyway. But if I can put them in my storage, I'm not going to forget about them. I know it's a bit of a wasted time. But you know, got to do what you got to do. Right, and I don't, I don't want to miss out on the clip because I do plan on actually using the pistol more. No, I don't, I don't want that. I want this. Uh, just not on hunters. Right, give me that. We did just use a herb, so I will take a herb to replace it with. I'm just more worried about the hunters doing more damage because I, I don't remember getting. Scr did I get scratched by that first one? I don't remember getting scratched by one, but then I was on caution, so I'm. Kind of sure that, like, they do damage even though you use a defense weapon, so I just wanted to be topped off more than anything. I wish I knew that that was a uh, rate to begin with, that would have saved some time. Right, so we can put the herb away, we can put the clip away. Right, and then you can go up here, and you can go there, and then we can just be. Conservative boys and pick this up and conserve it within our box. Right. Conservation of healing items is key. Right, there you go. Cool. Then we put that away. And then we've got to figure out what this shaft's for. No clue. At the moment. Um let it, let's examine it actually. That might be an idea. It looks like it's got Roman numerals on it. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say it's probably a puzzle piece. Right, we're gonna pick up these um, ink ribbons. I'm gonna chuck in a quick save, just because I don't really know what's up ahead. So we're gonna save it quickly. There we go. Save complete. Put the ink ribbons away in safety. It's nice that it was topped up with ink ribbons. We're actually starting to run out, believe it or not. I've been saving it a lot. Right. Uh, so what is that? That kind of looks like a hole up ahead, but I don't think it is. Okay, so this is where the crank goes. And we turn the thing. I don't think holes usually work like that. I could be wrong. Oh, there's another herb. A lot of herbs down here for some reason. Are you? Flamethrower? I think I might. What does that do, actually? It kind of looks like I just pressed a button on me. Hmm. A huge boulder blocks the way. Oh my god. Safety! Did I cause that by a... Uh... 
moving the flamethrower. Ooh, shotgun shells. Thank you. That's nice, at least. Um, I'm guessing we can't go... Oh, this knocked a way out for us. What the heck is this now? Do we have anything useful? Oh, God. I think it's a mini-boss. Oh, God, it's a giant spider. Hi. Um, I think the flamethrower is probably meant for this guy. Just give me a sec. I don't know if this is working. Okay, it did work. Okay. You're dead, I hope. I hear something moving around still. Oh, there is, there's a little tiny spider up ahead. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to shock on this guy. Where are you right now? Get down. Behave yourself. This is heavily spied at this area. We take the survival knife. I think I will, even though we have one. Maybe we need it for that door, actually. We do. There's more spiders coming. <laughs> we'll just go through. Okay, spider. Interesting. There's a bunch of herbs here. There's a map of the courtyard, B1. Take it. That would have been handy beforehand. Okay, I feel like... Okay, we can put the flamethrower back on there then. Maybe. Yes. I feel like it needs to be done. Interesting. But we can't just keep that. The water's dripping. This is so confusing. There's doors everywhere. What is that? Older? More crank slots. This looks like a boulder that's gonna chase me as well. Um, I'm concerned. Is it going to make me come and crank that out the way? I don't really get it. Okay, so this is doing something. Oh, shoot. There's too many Indiana Jones moments here. Not a fan. Kind of am, actually. It's kind of funny. There's a first aid kit there. Probably good to remember that's a thing, but, like, I can't use it just yet. We'll see what's up ahead first. I've got an incredibly itchy nose, I'm not gonna lie. Oh! Um, well, this room looks suspicious. The goddess statue smiles silently back at you. Right, so I'm going to say immediately that I have to push this up here. It's right against the wall, we can't get in, but this wall looks suspicious up here. Okay, that was too far. Probably there. And there's a crank thing here. And we crank. Yes.
And then I'm guessing we crank again, because like otherwise we can't. Not necessary to do this now. Okay, maybe we can't. Oh, we can. And then I'm going to put that in the middle. And then is it going to turn it? Yes, it turns me, so it must do. Right, so we've got to have that turning the other way, and then we can push it into the slot. He's doing one more time. There we go. Then we can push it down. And get the impression of where it goes. Which is in this hole, I'm assuming. A statue-shaped hole. I think it's quite in the right spot. And then in. It doesn't graphically look like the other hole, but we'll take it. What is that? You take the cylinder, I suppose. Um, and I'm going to say that they... If I can stop examining it for just a second. Tumbles are carved into the side. Will you turn it? Do I just have to keep turning it? Kind of annoying. And again, and again. There we go. I think that's right. Now we've just got to figure out where it goes. To which I have no idea. I'm guessing that's it for this room. Bizarrely. Right, so where the heck do we put that? Uh, we can, I mean, we could check the map now, I suppose. Well, which we'll do. Right, so the first aid kit's up there. Nothing there. So we can go back through the spider room. Um, that's the ladder that leads out. Right, I guess. I'm just going back this way. We shouldn't have to worry about many other... Rolling balls now, at least, though. Right. And this one's going to remain red, I think, because... Oh, no, there's loads of herbs in here as well. That's probably why. More than the flamethrower being in here. Right. Straight through. No, no time for spiders. I'm going to ignore them. I knew that was you! I'm gonna knife you now, sir. Running out of knives, thanks to you. You douche. Game over, man. Game over. Okay, so that didn't do damage to me this time. Which confuses me a little bit. Now we are out of, uh... Oh no, I thought we were out of daggers, we've got one left. I have a bad feeling I'm going to need the flamethrower to be in that door for me to actually go through the door. If that's the case, that's kind of annoying. No, we're alright. I'm guessing on when it's on either of them, it's okay. Right, I've got another herb there. Um, I might pick that up, actually. Because we're going past a box anyway. So we'll uh, see what we can do with that. By see what we can do with that, I mean putting it in its rightful place. Right, uh, we can put the knife away probably as well. Now we have two knives. Making a collection. <laughs> um, I'm curious as to whether or not this crank leads to another spot as well, but I don't think it will. Maybe not. I just don't know where to put this thing. It confuses me greatly. Um, I'm going to go back into these rooms up here. 
and see if there is anything that I've missed. It might be something for inside the uh, mansion itself, but I can't think of where it would be. If that is the case. There's also this. Maybe that's just like foreshadowing that boulders kill. <laughs> you know? I mean, it should be obvious, but... Right, okay, so we've got this, this timepiece thing. Maybe it's actually for this. It's not necessary to do this now. There's an empty space for a cylinder shaft, but something seems to be missing. The cylinder shaft. Okay, actually, let me do it now. A series of flashing buttons. Press one. Yes. Which button will you press? Nothing happens. I don't really understand. This confuses me, it's moved. I don't get it. Let's put it in there. Maybe it has to turn. Because it turned it. I don't really get it. You've got to. I'm guessing you've got to press all the buttons. And each one shoves it a little bit. If it's different now. I'm, I'm probably doing this really wrong. Um, let's examine it again. Maybe it just resets it every time. Because it doesn't look like it's moved at all. It'd be nice if it had the option just to carve it a certain way. We did have it perfectly turned around. As far as I'm aware, we haven't had to pick up a note that says anything about this. See, now it's twisted it back. Right, I'm going to quickly save it, I think, because we are running out of time. Uh, and I can't be dawdling with a puzzle until <laughs> the end, so we're going to have to try that again in a minute. We've got to get back to the save point first, which would be a perfect thing. Providing, obviously, there's no more monsters hiding away. Right. Where are we now? Right, there we go. Here's the save point. Right, I'm going to save it here. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video, where we figure out this mystery of the cylinder shaft. Hopefully it won't take us too long. <laughs> Thanks again, and bye for now.